Abe, what is it uh, like for an offensive lineman just getting back into pads? I know uh, Coach kind of talked about how it for the linemen, the first couple of days without pads, you don't really get to learn much. So what is it like getting back in pads for, for you and the other big guys up front? Oh, I'm going to disagree with our coach that we don't get to learn much. Getting back into pads is basically the same as not being in pads because uh, us and the D linemen pretty much go full speed all the time. Um, there's really no such thing as a non-padded practice between us unless we – or just, you know, maybe playing two-man touch football, and even then that's going to be super, super physical. So, I mean, there really isn't much of a difference other than the fact that we get to use our head a little bit more. All right, any other questions for Abe Lucas? Just raise your hand, and we'll get you on. All right, Theo, go ahead. Hey, Abe, your you're, you're kind of entire side of the offensive line is, is pretty new now with, uh, with, with with the new right guard and the new center. Can you kind of speak to uh, playing playing kind of next to two new guys and not having the, the, the same kind of continuity that, that, that you had with uh, with Fred and Valencia last year? Um, well, Valencia was on the left side and Josh was on the right side. So, I mean, I was – I mean, Fred, yeah, Fred knew – Fred was a smart guy, knew a lot, made his calls with a lot of confidence, big, strong guy too. And, you know, Rob was obviously experienced uh, – um, and, you know, with his JC days and then coming in, he made contributions. Um, I got faith in these new guys that are coming in. Uh, obviously, I mean, I'm in the position where I'm a veteran now on the O-line, which is a little strange because I remember when I was 18 years old, like it was yesterday. Um, but I'm excited to share my knowledge with these younger guys who are coming in, even the ones who aren't going to play, you know, some of the freshmen and stuff. You can see that they have a hunger to grow themselves. So I'm excited to, um, you know, share what I know about the game with them and, uh, to see us all improving. I'm sure there, the, I'm sure there's lots to be learned from 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 Mark Weber, who, who's kind of been in college football, uh, been been coaching for I think about 40 years. Can you, can you can you kind of speak to that and and what what he's kind of taught this group in in four or five days, or I guess since you guys started kind of working with him? Yeah, he's a wealth of knowledge. Um, you know, I mean, he's my third O line coach now. You know, I mean, three and four years. That's or going on four years rather. That's that's kind of a lot. You know, and um, each of them brought something different to the table. Um, you know, Coach Miller made me a better player. Coach Weber is going to make me a better player. Um, they do things a little bit differently, um, but it's all for my benefit. Uh, I'm trusting what he says because if I was to do my own thing, I would fail, and I know that. So I have no problem listening to somebody who's obviously um, been in coaching like twice as long as I've been alive. You know, I'm 21. He's been in football for over 40 years. So um, I would be stupid to not listen to him and not – take to heart what he says. Do you, do you think it's more of a positive or, or, or kind of a negative to have uh, three position coaches in four years? I'm sure you can kind of learn different things from, 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 from all three, but you also kind of want some continuity probably. Uh, I mean, I'm used to it. I mean, I kind of went through the same thing in high school when I was playing basketball. I had three different coaches and uh, a couple of them weren't all that great. So, I mean, um, you know, coming into something where you have three coaches or, you know, coach after coach after coach, it's just the nature of the business, you know, and I was, I was taught that my freshman year that, you know, there's people who kind of jump ship and that's not always a bad thing. You know, they, they move on to different opportunities and they, you know, they're looking out for their family. That's fine. You know, I mean, same with like college kids who transfer and stuff like that to be closer to home and all that, you know, I mean, it's their choice, it's their opportunity and they're going to take it and they got to leave the decision they make. That's their, that's their thing. I mean, I'm here, I've been here, I'm here for the long haul. I'm ready for that it comes. All right, Zach from Kook Fan, go ahead. Hey, the last two days in pads, what have you sort of picked up on as the little things that Coach Weber wants you guys to focus on? Um, I mean, that can be answered, I think, a lot of different ways. I mean, there's a lot of, in terms of, like, technique as an alignment and then technique as, you know, as a unit, as an offensive line. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of a difference in the sets that we take which is fine. I mean, I've been trying to work that in best I can. Uh, the offense is obviously a lot different. We're not passing eight or seven times uh, a game this year. Uh, it should be divided up pretty evenly. So, you know, pass open up the run, run to open up the pass, um, which uh, makes it a little bit more physical when you're going at somebody and they're coming at you, which is fine. Offense lineman, I mean, that's kind of part of the job. Um, he's, I mean, what I kind of get, the vibes I kind of get from Weber is that he's more of a chill guy. Um, I mean, I haven't really heard him yell. I've, I mean, obviously he gets frustrated and stuff like every coach does, but 
he's not a screamer or anything like that, and that makes sense for me. He's kind of an older guy, so I think those days are long past him. Um, but, you know, just trying to work everything in that's new. And at Hawaii, Coach Rolovich seemed to really like to use an athletic quarterback. And today he talked about Jaden and Cam having a couple of nice runs to end practice. Um, is having the quarterback run as an option something you as an offensive lineman look forward to? Yeah, it's fine with me because you don't want a slow quarterback if they get into open space. I mean, um, if the opportunity comes for them to run, run it. Just don't get injured is my whole thing, you know. I mean, I'm, but I'm going to block for anybody. I'm going to block for whoever. If we get the slowest quarterback in the nation or the fattest quarterback in the nation, I have to block for him. I have to shut up and I have to do my job. That's okay. Um, it's just the nature of the business. So, um, but if I had my choice, yes, I would prefer an athletic quarterback who can move in space a little bit. Thank you. Maybe one more question for Abe. Last chance for Abe. All right, Cody with the last one. Cody from the Evergreen. I'll I'll sneak one one more in. Abe, uh, have now two days in pads. Um, has there been some guys that you've gotten to to work against on the D line? Maybe maybe more than usual that you're really just going at it and that have you know, shown some improvement on that side? Yeah, I mean, uh, Willie Rogers has moved out to, to edge, and he wasn't – he was an interior guy last year. I think the edge kind of fits him better, fits his style better because he's not a super big bulky guy. He's more of a leaner sort of dude. Um, and then Willie Taylor, I, in my opinion, Willie Taylor is the best pass rusher on this team. Um, he's, you know, he's quick, he's, he's tall, he's uh, agile, he's long. So going up against him, I get to really, really uh, lock in my skills and work on my game. Um, and then, you know, we got obviously got these young guys. I don't go up against them too much. Um, but I'm excited for, you know, to see what they can do this year. And and when you get good matchups, like good players on good players, and, you know, me on Willie Rogers, Willie Taylor, all these guys, it's, it's going to be great.